First at 10, a mom who lost her son to gun violence three years ago in Baton Rouge has found a way to connect with other moms living through that grief themselves. News 2's David Hamilton learned what motivates her Thanksgiving tradition. Fallon Wanda Jackson told me her loss drives her to help others going through the horror of losing a child violently. She knows this feeling firsthand and wants to do whatever she can to make others feel better. If you never walked in our shoes, you can't tell us how to tie them up. Wanda's Jackson's son, Justin Henry, was shot to death in a possible robbery on Thanksgiving morning in 2021. The crime remains unsolved. They're still waiting on DNA. They say the state crime, the state police crime lab is backed up. They are still waiting on DNA off my son's body for over a year. That was Jackson discussing her son's killing in a 2022 interview. She decided to mark the anniversary of his death with action. It's her way of honoring one of his last requests when he'd asked for two cakes for Thanksgiving. Teased my, my granddaughter and told her, because that was her uncle, don't you eat my cake, because my mama made that for me. He never got to taste the cake. Jackson said as she's had to adjust to a world without her son in it, God put it in her heart to give back to moms who have lost their sons. So this is probably their first Thanksgiving without their child. In 2022, she provided four boxes in honor of her son's four children. Since, the box giveaway has grown. With friends and family stepped in, donating, doing boxes that we didn't have to do. Just donating a full box. Each box contains ham, green beans, yams, rolls, soda, gift cards, and a special card with a note letting the recipient know that Jackson is available for support anytime they need it. Every box also comes with a hug from Jackson for each and every mom. Doesn't cost you anything, but that's the best thing somebody can get that day because you don't know what they're going through that day. Jackson told me she plans to continue this tradition next year. Fallon.